Hey, what is up everybody? This is Steve Breach coming to you here today. I'm driving home on my way from work and I thought we would do a little bit of story time. Uh, I saw on my Twitter timeline today that I believe it is 25 years the anniversary of an episode of WWE Smackdown where Vince McMahon became WWE Champion. I'm, I'm not talking about the dog days of ECW uh, when uh, Vince was trying to uh, piggyback the ECW brand. Um, you know, it came in with like a lot of people sort of like looking at it like, hey, this, this might be hot. They're bringing back ECW. Um, but then, you know, as they kind of saw, it was just the developmental brand of um, WWE before uh, NXT, uh, where they had some like, sort of like some, some has-been guys that were kind of hanging on, but mostly they were just putting over the guys that would go on to be the future of uh, WWE. And Vince, you know, became ECW champion. He was feuding with Bobby Lashley. He was wearing the purple uh, um, do-rag, like he was going to the, uh, the click wedding. This was like prime time, attitude era, 1999 Triple H that Vince beat. Uh, I, I, I I watched it. I saw it. I honestly knew from the spoilers that it was going to happen at the time from reading the the the, uh, the wrestling internet back in the day. But watching it, it was the biggest shock of all time. Um, basically. Uh, Vince McMahon uh, had been uh, sort of banned uh, from the WWE a lot like he is today. Um, you know, he's always sort of been the heel in the side of uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Um, I believe it was a fully loaded pay-per-view. Um, it ended up being the, a WWF championship match. It was The Undertaker um, against Stone Cold Steve Austin, where uh, Vince McMahon would be in um, The Undertaker's Corner. And if Stone Cold Steve Austin won the match, Vince McMahon would leave and go away from the WWF forever in wrestling terms. I mean, so many times we've seen, you know, Ric Flair and WCW lose retirement matches or retirement angles. And they, they keep him off TV as long as they need to and they just bring him back because he's Ric Flair. This was a lot like that. Vince, I think, was off of television for like three months at the most. Uh, he shows up, you know, him and Triple H, they, they kind of get into it in the back. This isn't even like Vince versus Triple H that would be later on in this year uh, when they do the Armageddon pay-per-view where they're feuding um, over um, Triple H marrying Stephanie behind everybody's back when she's supposed to be marrying Test. And then, of course, that's where Stephanie turns on Vince. We have the uh, McMahon-Helmsley era. Um... You know, th this is just Vince being mad at Triple H for no real reason other than that he's the bad guy and Vince is trying to get himself over as a good guy. One thing leads to another. They ended up putting the championship on the line in the main event of this SmackDown. And it starts out like a normal fight where they're fighting back and forth, back and forth. And then, you know, you know how Jack Triple H was back in 1999. He just overcame and overtook um, uh, Vince and I didn't even bring up the fact that Shane is the special guest referee and they see how they still have their feud um, going on um, where basically they, they can't you know be in the same room because they don't really see eye to eye um, where you know Shane wouldn't mind seeing Vince get his ass kicked but during this match uh, basically uh, Triple H wanted to teach Vince a lesson and he brought the um, uh, steel chair into there and started giving the unprotected headshots to Vince McMahon. Yeah, unprotected headshots. He took them like a champ right there in the middle of the ring. And, uh, you know, Vince is all getting bloody. At this point, Shane, you know, starts getting the feels like, hey, that's my dad. <laughs> that's my father. And he's not ready to fight Triple H, but... He's asking Triple H to stop. Uh, basically, at this point, that is when uh, China, who's doing still involved with Triple H at the time, he she basically gets involved in, inside of the match, uh, and that's when Stone Cold Steve Austin jumps the rail. Um, we had thought that he was just a fan out there in the crowd, uh, and, and he hits the big stunner on Triple H. He grabs Vince, 
uh, carries him over and, and covers uh, Triple H. And uh, Shane counts the pin. One, two, three. Vince becomes the champion. Um, you know, back in the day when SmackDown used to be on Thursdays, he held the championship throughout the weekend, and then you know, the, to start Monday Night Raw, he uh, relinquished the championship. Um, where he basically just used the line that he was banned uh, from WWE, and he wanted to live up to the um, the stipulation that they had made with the Undertaker versus Stone Cold Steve Austin match. I think that was just sort of show the fans that he really wanted to be a good guy and we were supposed to cheer uh, the man from here on out. Um, but uh, Vince, you know, he never defended the championship, but he really won it. He, he, he didn't just take it. He didn't strip somebody and decide that he was his. He went in the ring, got his ass whooped. Thanks to Stone Cold Steve Austin, won the belt.